Hey, what's up? It's Dave Duford. We're on this YouTube channel. I help you with your sales and insurance sales related questions and concerns. So the title of this video is one easy trick to become a powerful objection rebuttaling maniac or something like that. Anyways, the reason I'm putting this video together is if you watch my channel and follow my stuff, you know that I'm a uh, currently in the one book a week club. Uh, I uh, try to read. I know I don't try. I do. I do read one book a week on different subjects. Sometimes it's sales related, insurance related. Sometimes it's just completely different. I just want to expose myself to different books and just continuously learn and uh, self-educate. So uh, one book I just finished reading is this one. It's from uh, Mr. Meddy. I won't try to pronounce his last name. Uh, Everything is Possible. Uh, his other book is uh, and Nothing is Impossible, probably his most famous one. A little bit about this guy, if you've never heard of him. He works with MetLife. He, at the time of this recording, is 96 years old. 96. And guess what? He still sells life insurance. He's still killing it. And supposedly, as I've heard from others, he gave up a $700,000 pension plan to continue selling for MetLife. They tried to buy him out, and he just wouldn't quit. <laughs> so anyways, this is an old book that he wrote a while back, and it's really good. So you know this guy knows what he's talking about if he's uh, still selling life insurance like he, like he is. And... One of the things he, I read that I think is great, great, great training concept on becoming a, a, a powerful objection handler is, is this what I'm going to tell you now. Is it's essentially, in a nutshell, is, is this process of becoming an expert. And what he, what he described in the book as far as becoming an expert is that really to become very good, very knowledgeable, and articulate, and, 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 and strong with your product offering is understand with with intimate detail, all the different questions your clients are going to ask you about whatever it is that you're selling. And in a sense, reverse engineer the questioning process to be able to answer those questions with efficiency and articulate responses that satisfy the concerns of the client. Now, we, the reason that this is related to objection handling is because essentially what an objection is, is a question. And people typically ask questions because they're confused. They don't understand why something is the way it is. And if you can get good at answering questions, by default, you'll get good at answering the most common objections that people have. So here's the process that Mr. Meddy uses. And uh, I think this is something that no matter what you sell, insurance or not, this is a great way to quickly become a, an expert, to some extent, of course, on whatever product it is that you're selling. So first of all, first step is to list the top 10 questions people have about whatever it is that you're selling. So I, let's take selling final expense insurance. It's what I'm most uh, familiar with. I know that my clients are going to ask the following questions. They're going to ask questions like, if I, if I were just to go and say, I sell life insurance, I can help you with burial insurance, do you want to buy? Let's just say that's my pitch. Well, they may say yes, but they're going to have a lot of questions. So let's list those questions. Questions being, well, what company do you represent? Why should I buy from you? Uh, how much does it cost? How does this policy work? Uh, do the rates ever go up? How's the coverage work? Do I get first day full coverage? Um, and so you start to ask, these are the most obvious questions that people have. Then you'll have things like, well, what about the coverage on TV? You see Colonial Pen on TV all the time. What about AARP, New York Life's plan for term insurance? What about term insurance? What about this guaranteed acceptance life insurance? Uh, what about the agent that came last time? What about my current policy? Is that enough? How much does burial cost? Do I need, how much do I need? Is that too much? What's, that's, you know, is, what is my budget? So we get into right about 10 or 15 questions there. But if you can sit there and think about all these questions as in this context for final expense, if I sit there and answer these questions, I'm essentially creating strong and powerful rebuttals to the most common objections that people have. Because while it may not come out as you're expressing these questions exactly in a rebuttal, many times the, rebut or the objections are based on these questions. You know, let's, let's say price. Hey, you know, let me think about it. I see what you're saying, Mr. Prospect. A lot of people I talk to say the same thing before they end up buying. My question to you is, what is it exactly do you mean by needing to think about it? Well, I'm not so sure about this price. This price is pretty expensive. I didn't think it was going to be this much. Well, if you know how to handle price and you know how to demonstrate it in a way that, that would cool the nerves of somebody concerned about pricing, 
and you've done this particular exercise, you're going to be able to handle that great. So for example, hey, price is something we can work with. You know, how does price work? Price is great. Right? We can custom tailor your program to whatever kind of price that you feel comfortable paying. You don't have to pay a set price. We have the ability to reduce the coverage to lower the price or to increase it to whatever level you're comfortable with because my goal as your agent is to get you some kind of coverage on the books versus nothing at all because at the end of the day, if you don't get coverage, the problem you have still is not solved, which is you need coverage and you don't have it if you can't afford it. So let's get you something you can afford. Doesn't that make sense to you? So you can start answering these questions. Um, and you can start answering these rebuttals by automatically understanding the questions that you have to run into. And then on top of that, usually what we're looking at, a good suggestion, I think Mr. Meddy was talking about this, is start with 10 of the most common questions that your particular product uh, will probably have. And then work to 20 or 30. And then role play with a fellow agent or somebody else and have them ask the questions related to it and, and be ready to pounce and answer those re objections with solid rebuttals based on the answers that you got. And if you can go through 20 or 30 objections, you're going to become a master of the product that you're selling because you understand the product not only from an actual standpoint, but you understand it in application to the benefit of the client. What I mean by that is it's not just enough to understand the features of a product and understand the technical aspects. You have to be able to relate what a product does or is and how it benefits specifically the client based off of what it is that they're looking to accomplish. So some ideas, if you're getting started in selling again, it doesn't matter what you sell. Maybe you're getting started and you're wanting to know, okay, what questions could I ask to get myself in a better position? Uh, my recommendation is do some online research. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, three things I would recommend is whatever you're selling, go on to Facebook groups, Find a Facebook group that corresponds with your product. Find forums online that aren't necessarily on Facebook. Like in the insurance world, there's the insurance forums. Great resource. Lots of agents. You can see a lot of questions that they'll ask. And then you can steal their questions and also Reddit. Uh, look on there. Quora is another one. And just do some product research. See what people are asking, saying, and thinking about the product you're representing. And then be, begin to craft a presentation around those questions. Now, ultimately, what will happen and what you want to do is you just don't want to go in and actually pitch like this and then field questions as you go along. I think the more sophisticated approach to selling is to take these questions, the answers to the questions that you've generated, and develop a sales presentation around them. What you'll find is, and this is assuming you're working in, in a vacuum, you don't work with a mentor or coach, but what you'll find is if you're on your own selling something, people generally have the same kind of concerns. And usually the most common objections are whittled down to the three or five objections or issues that people have. And if you can get really good at understanding why people object to that particular thing or instance or characteristic of your product, and you can learn how to relate that objection and relate it back to something that they said earlier in the sales call, you'll be a genius at closing deals and handling rebuttals. And like I was getting to, ultimately, what you want your sales presentation to essentially do is, is pre-qualify out those objections from the beginning. So things like, what does your product do? How does it work? What about other products? What about the competition? You weave into your sales presentation comparisons, analysis, pros and cons, and demonstrate to the client why someone would buy your product versus, versus the alternative and why somebody would buy the alternative versus yours. So you can segregate based on who you're seeing if they fit the kind of match that you're looking for in your, in your insurance prospect or any kind of prospect that is. And so crafting that sales presentation based on these answers to these objections is really the best way to present. I'm a big believer in, in modern sales. The ultimate goal of a sales presentation is to pre-qualify and is to look at your sales process like a funnel. We're, we're letting pretty much everybody in on the front end, but then we work through a series of questions designed to test and analyze how serious a prospect is, if they're a good match for what we do, and to determine if we in the sales position want to proceed with the sales call or if we want to end it to save our time and theirs and for us to go out and spend time finding another prospect that will be more in tune with what we want in a buyer. This get, gets you in the control seat. This gets you in the driver's seat. 
It allows you to control how the sales presentation goes. It allows you to determine what happens on your terms. And in sales, it's so important to have that control. And it's so important to make sure that you ascertain it because without it, you kind of feel helpless. And so I hope this kind of helps you how to do that. Um, Starting with the objections in mind and how to answer them effectively will make you a better salesperson as well as a better expert in whatever it is that you're selling. My name is David Duford, and on this YouTube channel, I talk a lot about insurance selling tips. I'll talk a lot about generic sales training tips, no matter what it is that you sell. Uh, Just in case you didn't know, of course, I did a little talk about Mr. Meddy's book today, but I'm also an author too. These are my two books, and interviews of top producing insurance agents and the official guide to selling final expense insurance. You can find those on Amazon. I also recruit insurance agents primarily in final expense, mortgage protection, annuity selling, and Medicare supplement sales. If any of this interests you, then I would recommend that you stop by my website at feagentmentor.com forward slash contact. Send me a message if you'd like to learn more about recruiting and training opportunities and selling life insurance or any of the other insurance that we sell. If you like this video, thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will field any comments that you leave if you have any particular questions. I'm happy to interact with you. My name is David Duford, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.